Hey everyone, Zero Jitty here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Kuyo Blaster, a side-scrolling shooter where it is everyday nonsense where you have to destroy the aliens. And when I mean nonsense, you will see it pretty soon. Some of the enemies actually remind me of Cuphead, which I haven't actually played yet. Lots of people told me that I should. Uh, but I've actually been enjoying this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go into Classic. I've actually gotten to the final boss on Beginner uh, and died because even on Beginner, the game can get pretty hectic. Uh, so the first thing you're actually picking is your sort of a super attack that builds up as you're damaging enemies. It'll come out uh, on your next, uh, once it fills up, it'll be, it'll say hold fire and then it'll just launch itself and attack. I actually like a, my buddy here, Blood Presence, where uh, it's just a big old screen clearing attack that actually also gets sort of uh, my bullets. Uh, this one right here fires off missiles and this one here uh, deploys a sort of defensive uh, barrier. And they each actually have their own set of characters attached to them. Uh, their firing patterns, as far as I've seen, are the same. They just have slightly different stats and stuff like that. We're going to go with Blood Presence here and just kind of use this default character here. And then you get to pick your sort of uh, special move. I'm going with the lasers because I don't need a shield if everyone is dead. Okay, so we're going to actually just go ahead and skip this. Skip the cutscene. Okay, so first off, upper left. I got my health, I got my score, and all that kind of fun stuff. Below that is Pulse. So if I have a pulse, I can activate it and it actually turns all the uh, enemy projectiles into these coins, which I collect on my bottom left, which turn into power. And when I fill up a bar, I can hit B to fire off my laser. Next to that, you can see that other bar. That is that sort of super bar that I was talking about before. Uh, I'm going to hit this B. There you go. And I actually fired off my super here. Uh, you might also notice on my character, I have a big old pink dot. I love it when... Uh, shmup side scrolling shooters whatever do that word that is my hitbox my ship can be touched beaten up uh, shot at as long as i do not get that little circle hit i am good to go and it is one hit kill all right first boss very easy first level so we're gonna fire this off and a little bit into this we're essentially gonna be summoning cthulhu to help us out uh the bosses do not start out too hard it's a very nice sort of wind up into the game Right, shooting off Yashigis at me. There's Cthulhu. What's up, buddy? Uh, and at the end of every level, you actually get to another screen where you can pick a uh, permanent upgrade, which is fun. We're almost done here. Very easy first boss. Perfect. Goodbye. But yeah, that was a little weird, right? It gets better. We're gonna skip that. So do we got uh, increased speed. I wanna get faster firing. The other ones are like an extra life, uh, longer special am special ammo and, an and uh, items stay on screen for longer. <laughs> One of the enemies is a bug just strapped to a missile who does not look like he agreed to it. There he is, look at that ladybug. That ladybug seems unsure with its life choices. this hey buddy so i'm gonna let him fire and if i hit that, that there we go and so if i don't fire there you go so the next bit of damage triggers our cthulhu buddy keep saving up these coins because uh the more you save up and the higher the damage uh the more damage it actually does we're gonna actually save it for the boss here uh this is when i first started making the comparisons to uh cuphead with this boss here not only the little faces on the cannon but the actual uh boss proper oop i got hit it's fine look at that thing Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Go, Cthulhu. Thank you. Oh, so many coins. Also, I want to point out we are actually on the sixth floor of this building. That is why it's Queen of the Sixth Floor. Yeah, lots of evil insects. Uh, let's see this one. 
tighter fire. Uh, you do have like a set amount of lives, and if you uh, use them, each time you use them, uh, when you die, you uh, sacrifice some uh, co uh, points. I have never been a big person who get hung up on uh, points in a game like this. I just want to shoot stuff. Uh, also, this game does not commit the uh, shmups and uh, having enemies that shoot you off screen. Once they are off screen, they are no longer your issue. I have played some games that do that, and it is very upsetting. Also, your uh, your beam, uh, your super attack also gets rid of, uh, or your blast attack gets rid of uh, uh, bullets. That's also why I picked it over the shield. Because not only am I blocking, I'm attacking. Poor ladybug. I'm just gonna eradicate you. What's up, buddy? Oh boy. Okay, we're good. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Cool. Oh, give me that. I want that bullet storm. Got it. All right, it's almost time to summon Cthulhu. I think I missed with Cthulhu, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you notice in the bottom left, I have a 63 of 200. So if I get to uh, full power and I keep collecting those coins, that number will go up and it'll actually give me a life up if I fill it up. I did abuse the uh, super shot first time I played it, so I actually only got one ever extra life when I finally got curious about what it did. Give me that. Uh, let's get another life. Fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, look at those fingers. And they'll just uh, slowly fire faster and faster. And then it'll fire three at you. Also, for this shot, you can actually just tap it. If you hold it, it does this. If you tap it... It is a very good rapid fire weapon, though. But I can tap really fast. Look at those hands. Oop. Give me that bullet storm. But yeah, I've, uh, overall, I've really enjoyed Oh, I really like these things because, uh, the alternate, no, not these ones. There's an alternate version of these that, uh, shoot a whole bunch of missiles or uh, one bullet that just explodes into, like, a billion bullets. And it's perfect to get a whole bunch of, uh, charge from. What's up, Space Witch? I actually had uh, thought I had gotten hit earlier, so I kind of gave up on dodging. So I don't know if you noticed there, uh, I actually made that uh, her uh, hit herself with her own attack. Oop. Wonder if you can actually like do that. Didn't look like it did that much damage. I wonder if you could actually get her to like finish herself off. I also like that one of its attacks is just a fist. Clear 
out a little. But yeah, that's why I like the laser. It's very good at like just clearing stuff out. I don't want to actually have to dodge anything. Actually, that's a pretty decent amount of damage that it does. That's actually really funny that you can do that. Oh, yeah, penalty. I got, I got like nine. Like, I think you get like 18 lives in all, if I have to guess. We should let this thing destroy itself. All right, there. Let's see what happens. I need to not. Come on, you can do it. Really? We're gonna do this. Now that we're committed to it, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna humiliate this boss. Even though it is blasting me apart. But yeah, it only, like, this is still on, like, the normal difficulty. I need to actually use my pulse. Uh, even this is all, even though this is on the easy difficulty, this thing. Uh huh. Uh, is kind of intense and the last boss the amount of bullets it puts out is insane But anyways, I am zero JD. This is the XBLA fans channel uh, Take my word for it. It does get harder even on the nor uh, the easy difficulty. Thank you so much for watching. Bye